Well, you know, so I didn't play in, I didn't play in high school, didn't play in college. Uh, in high school, I played soccer, and the soccer team, my senior year, I was captain. I think we won one game, and the football team won the state championship. And so I was like, I, you know, what, what did one I do? One side or the other, yeah. Yeah. Um, so fast forward to 2008, there was an, an ad, or there was an article in the, the Record Eagle about this tryout for the Wolves. And I thought, I'll just do the tryout to get in shape. And the tryout was four months after they had published this article. And you're like, okay, you know, I'll try something different. Football, you have to be explosive, quickness, and you have to be strong. And I'd been basically like riding my mountain bike and doing some triathlons and things like endurance that. Endurance stuff. Yeah, yeah, endurance stuff, exactly. Uh, so I thought, well, let's try it. So they have this mass tryout in April of 08 um, at the Coliseum, 130 guys. And so I trained for it pretty hard and got in real good shape, different kind of shape. And once I got there, I, I kind of made a fool of myself, but I really liked the camaraderie. And uh, there's actually two other guys that are still on the team that I met at that combine. And, and there's three of us. We're the only three guys left from that original combine. We take pride in that. That's Aaron Bennett and, and Pablo Bacardo. You're the I three wise men of the wolves. Yeah. Three wise wolves. Yes, <laughs> yeah, fools maybe. <laughs> And I didn't know if I was going to get invited back. After the combine with 130 guys, they were going to have um, a mini camp in the middle of the summer at Inland Lakes High School. And so they said, we're going to cut half of you, and half we're going to bring back to this Inland Lakes thing. So Pablo, who's currently on the team, said, I know I'm going back for sure because I'm a kicker. And he goes, I'm the only kicker that's sh showed what up. What are going to get? <laughs> I, I thought to myself, well, geez, you know, I played soccer, I probably could <laughs> kick. So I went and told the coach I can kick. And that's how I actually got invited back, even though I had no intention of being a kicker. And I wouldn't be any good. Pablo's a very good kicker. Right? And I filled in for him one game, and that was it. I was going to say, you kind of, yeah, you're a receiver. You, you, you have kicked, apparently, in the I game. I have kicked in a game. And I've you, kicked, you played uh, defensive end, right? Uh, I played, uh, yeah, line, I played strong line side linebacker, okay. cornerback, uh, safety. Um, I played quarterback in practice. <laughs> Jeez, you're Mr. Everything. Right? Well, not really. Well, Mr. so Cohen. at your age, yeah. I mean, what kind of reaction have you heard from? What's it like to be in a locker room where you're 15, 20 years older than 25 in some cases than the guys you're you're working right alongside? Um, the, the reason why I continue to play is um, once you get out of college for some people or high school, uh, you, you no longer are really truly part of a team. Uh, even though you might think you're part of a team at work, um, there's competing interests. But on football, uh, in a football team, you, everybody's got to do their job. And I, and I think we lose that as we get older. Uh, and we, we want to be part of a team. And so this has been great for me. And, and these guys treat me uh, like a king, really, I, with respect, but like one of the guys. And in fact, I can be as juvenile as anyone on that team. We've got 18 year olds and I, you know, and I have fun, but I love being in the locker room with the guys. I love traveling with the guys. In fact, we used to have such fun on the road trips. We take buses that I was, I told the owner, we should be taking buses to home games, you know, <laughs> and we're dropping guys off. Let, let's whoop it up. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's great being a part of a team again. And, and, and that's something we miss out as adults. And, 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 and I think men, especially, want that they want to be part of a tribe and football is the perfect thing for it so what about uh, what if i were to tell you that your story in a sense serves as an inspiration for guys that are over the hill above <laughs> 40 you know how does it feel to be a great you know i know it's just the traverse city wolves it's not the national football league or anything but how does it feel to know that i think you you in itself and what you've done with this career with the wolves serves as an influence for guys to just get out there and not hang it up for good as far as just exercise in general, staying in shape and getting, getting I have gotten, you know, odd, you know, people that you wouldn't think would be interested have come up to me and say, you know, that's really cool. You know, thanks for doing that. You've, you've inspired me. I didn't know you were, you were 47. Um, and, and that's great. Uh, I think really, I want my kids to see that, look at, you don't have to be a star to do something. Just, just have the courage to, to try to do something and, and, and lay it out there. Uh, and, and I hope that's how they live their life. And I want them to see through this football that that's what I, I do. Even I'm, not, I'm certainly not a star. I play 15 to 20 plays max a game, um, and, but I'm still out there trying my hardest. I want my kids to see that, and I think adults pick up on that. 
think it's cool. Uh, I, think I don't think I inspire anybody by it. <laughs> I think it's awesome, dude. Oh, thanks. It, you, our director in the back, Nick Bank, when I told him, hey, yeah, there's a 47 year old, he's like, really? That, he, you could just kind of tell the gears started yeah. working. He's, he's somewhere in the 40s. I don't know okay. where. Maybe Dale can correct me. Maybe Dale's going to get influenced by this, our guy in the back right now. Um, Final question, though, we'll, yeah. we'll go to the team aspect. You guys are now three and four on the year with three games left, and um, you, you won two in a row, correct? We've won two in a row. So three, it, yeah. it, if you keep the winning streak going here, you, you can align yourselves up for a, a return tip, trip to the playoffs. Right. So what what kind of is the mindset now going into these final three games? Well, we've been out of the playoffs the last two years. The first two seasons we made the playoffs. Um, Saturday we play the Wayne County Bengals, and uh, frankly we should beat them. Then we come back on August 3rd, uh, a week from this Saturday, and we play um, uh, the West Michigan Grizzlies. And we've already taken the Grizzlies to the woodshed once, and, and we're gonna do it again. And so everybody come out and support us at Thurlby Field, seven o'clock, Saturday, August 3rd. Uh, and so if we do that, that would put us at five and four with a rematch against one of our rival teams, and that would be the, the Muskegon, uh, or the Lakeshore um, Mustangs. So is there, is there kind of a central, are you guys rallying around the playoffs or what's kind of the, the locker room motivation going around right now? The locker, um, we've After. definitely got momentum going. And um, it's, uh, the motivation is you play football for the guy next to you. And that's what's going on. We, we really got our butts kicked uh, by some very good teams early on. And the guys who've hung in there, um, they have a great attitude and they're railing like we're kind of the last men standing and um, we're ready to go. So uh, You sound ready to go. Yeah, we are. We're, this is, we, we got some good stuff going. We had a tough first half of the season, but we've survived it. Uh, we see the light at the end of the tunnel. Well, there was that one game where you, you, were, you were up like 41 nothing or 35 nothing. Is that what I saw? So you know you can put the points up. We can. We absolutely can. Um, and um, we've got a solid team. So uh, I, I, I expect that we'll go into that last game at five and four and fighting for a playoff spot. And it'll be a tough game. I think we can do it. Let me say one other thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Floor is yours. Um, and, and, I, and, I, and I don't want to leave out, but um, my, my wife and family have been incredibly supportive. So if there are uh, other people my age out there uh, who want to do it, you, you gotta have your family on board. And I, and I certainly couldn't do it without uh, the support of my wife and my kids. And I think my wife has only missed a handful of games in five seasons too. They've traveled to- uh, Including road games. Oh yeah, they've traveled to London, Ontario, uh, Racine, Wisconsin twice, Detroit several times. So- uh, So you Ypsilanti. got a good fan base there. Yep. So I couldn't do it without that. So. Anyway. Awesome. Hey, <laughs> right. hey, you got to plug the family. Yeah, 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 and, and it's important. true. It's not. I'm, I wouldn't I'm trying be to get here. brownie points. I right wouldn't right. be here if it wasn't for my dad. So <laughs> we're, all, we're all on that same olive tree. Cool. All right, so we're all 